Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2. We're playing today as the Carrot Cadron and this is episode 4 of our playthrough. And let's waste no time. Let's get straight into it. So last time we had taken Carrot Gungor, making me very happy because we're going to be getting a lot of gold out of it. And uh, today we're going to continue on and fight with Manfred, who declared war on us last, last time. Right at the end, he just decided he was going to declare war, which is pretty good timing, considering that we had uh, just finished our war with the Red Eye, so I was quite happy with that, to be honest, because we were planning to go to war with him anyway. Although it does take us uh, take away the chance of getting a surprise attack against him, which is a shame. So, before we move on him, I want to get some Slayers, and we can afford them now with his extra gold, so I'm going to build three of them. And uh, perhaps... Some miners just to fill the fill the ranks, or maybe maybe we'll just get some dwarf warriors. You know what? I'm gonna build the dwarf warriors first. Well, two of them and one slayer, and then build the last two slayers next turn. Uh, doing it in that order just to. I don't know if I want three slayers. I might get one more quarreler. You know, we'll decide next turn. Definitely this this turn. Uh, and let's just check on buildings. I think we're building everything, everything we can. And uh, let's check diplomacy. Nothing else we can do there. Okay, let's just pass our turn. <laughs> Wonder what Manfred will do if he'll move on our position or if he will stay where he is. I think he'll stay because Telback Land are threatening him and uh, probably not safe for him to move on us right now. But the AI is always surprising, so let's see what happens. Oh, crap. Two big armies. A little more worrying. <laughs> than just one. Should still be able to deal with it, hopefully. See what he's got. Oh, Mortal Empires, please speed up. Oh no! We lost Essen. We lost our trade agreement, that's not good. On the plus side, our gold mines are complete, so let's upgrade them straight away, just keep increasing that. Look at that. Even though we recruited last turn, our income still raised slightly. Gold mines OP. Ungrim. Uh, oh. Okay. I'd like to get this stuff here, so I think we'll go for this. Melee defense for our, our dwarf warriors and long beards. I think that's pretty good. Give them a bit more staying power. It'd be good to sack Waldorf. You say never. I think it would be good to do it now. Absolutely. Can we reach it? I think we can. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to sack Waldorf, I think. Graveguard, lots of crypt ghouls. Yeah, we should be fine. Should be. be <laughs> being the famous last words. So I don't want to... Um, I don't want to take it just yet because I don't think I'll be able to hold it against Manfred's second army there but if we can just get rid of this army for now sack it, get some extra gold um, get our levels up a little bit more and get rid of an army on his side and reduce the income and whatever else he's getting from his settlement so loads of benefits from sacking it Quarrelers OP, look at that, armoured and shielded ridiculous Okay, we're going to definitely make use of this little pond here. Let's do this. Right, let's do our usual tactic where we have our, uh, our melee in a nice pillar formation to slow their troops down. The clans, unite. the clans unite! I cannot do a northern accent. <laughs> and then the miners here, and then the slayers here, 
and then I'll have Ungram front and center, and we'll have the Runesmith front and center, and they'll we'll try and break a lot of the charge here. You know what? I'm going to spread them out even more. Oh, not quite happy with that. There we go, because Ungram's going to fill that gap, so... That'll be fine. Hopefully. Move these guys a little bit further out so we can just protect our flanks a bit better. There we go, and then the Slayers on the flanks here. Looks pretty good, we'll have guard mode for these guys, and that will do. They might not come at us, let's see what happens. They are. Speed up then. Okay, we really got to be aware of these cavalry. For the ancestors. Let's fire on these black knights. Fire on the wolves, please. Probably not going to come through the river, so let's move like that. Oh, good old AI. Being stupid as ever. Don't you just love it? Move these archers here and these archers here. Let's get them all firing on these units on the flanks so that they don't come to, back to bother us. Get them. 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 Perfect. And those black knights are gone. Excellent. Do that, that, and then you guys fire on these crypt ghouls, and you guys fire on these guys. Let's get you in here. Rune and Wrath of Rune, drop that on the grave guards. I thought this might happen, but that's okay. Oh, a banshee crept through. That's not so good. Okay, let's line up here. How are we doing? Let's get these guys around the back of them. Oh no! See if we can get them to take out this uh, Banshee. I don't know who'd be good at taking her out. Probably Ungram himself, and that's it. To be honest. Graveguard with great weapons. Definitely take them down with the archers. Just focus on them with, the, with these archers. They'll do a lot of damage, but they'll die really quickly, so... Yeah, I didn't think that these guys would be any good at taking out that Banshee, to be honest. There we go, they're getting massacred. These bats are finished, let's move to the back of these Crypt Ghouls. Ungram's absolutely fine. Kill these bat Slayers. Should be fine for you. Into the back of the Grave Guards. These guys are getting annihilated by the archers, as we hoped. Our miners are tough now, eh? With all the, uh... Evidently all the technology we've uh, researched for them has helped them out. Let's just use that in the zombies, sure. Ingram is absolutely fine. Let's pull them out of there. So that they've just got a clear shot onto the back of these grave guards. There they go. Where's their lord? It's not the banshee. No, the banshee's not the lord. God, look at the slayers <laughs> having a bad time. Let's see if we can get these guys to take this banshee out. Not ideal, but it could be worse. Let's get Ingram over here. Pull him out of there. He's having a bad time. He's done his job, though, as usual. Ungram, slay this beast. He'll live. He'll be fine. <laughs> Look at the short range volleys. <laughs> Banshee's dead. Hild Hildebrand von Schinkler is dead. And that'll be the rest of them disintegrating, surely. Yep. Excellent. Really, really, really good battle. 
close victory. I don't think so, but the computer says no. <laughs> 198 losses, close victory. Hardly. Dwarfs are so overpowered early game, man. So overpowered. Part of me thinks I should just take it and hold it now. But I'm going to stick with my original plan. Sack it first. And we'll just keep raiding them. Keep drawing, because what you'll probably do is move Manfred. If we sack this, you'll move Manfred to protect it next. Hopefully. Wow, it's not worth anything. <laughs> I'm going to sack it anyway. So it's literally a worthless city. Move back here. Hopefully he can't reach us. I grow restless. And if he moves to protect it, that might be our opportunity to take him out. What's he got? Lots of cavalry. Be an interesting fight, anyway. Definitely be an interesting fight. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> A little bit tougher than that one was. But it'll probably be fine, to be honest. I, I can't I, I can't see the vampires causing us any real trouble. Oh, unless he does this. Oh, that's a big deal. That's a big deal. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, we have to fight it. Let's see what we got. If we have to have any hope of winning this, I need to take out Manfred as early as possible. I did not think he'd be able to reach. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Now we've got to pay the price. Let's do it. Okay, uh, definitely moving back. It's probably going to be a corner camp job. It has to be. It has to be or we're lost. So, cheese strats, everybody. Cheese strats 101. I can't be flanked, otherwise I've lost. Back here. Strike out. Move now. Right, we need to get them really spaced out. Rage far, rage fast. Moving out. Roar of vengeance. Oh god, this right flank. <laughs> oh god, this right flank. Up here, and we're not going to be able to engage our runesmith as much as usual. We'll have him on the right flank since that's got the less less men on it. God, I can't see the side of the map because of this freaking snow. Where's the side of the map? There it is. Let's do that. Trying to give us a little bit more room to breathe here. I haven't seen the enemy yet. Don't want to look. If I don't look, he doesn't exist. <laughs> kind of scared. What are you guys up to? Stop Stop misbehaving. It's going to cost you your lives. Not you guys as well. They're coming from the right-hand side more as well. Which is fine. I will just move troops around to assist. Nothing can stop us. That looks good. That looks good to me. It definitely looks like they're coming heavy on the right hand side. Let's move the troops to compensate for that. And I'm gonna send Ungram straight onto Manfred, and I'm just I'm just praying that he'll win that fight. Because he has to, more than anything else, just because he has to. <laughs> he has to win that fight or we are screwed. Let's get some armor up, lads. 
Stay there. All right, should be okay there. Kill these bats quickly. That's annoying, look at that. One managed to breach through and he's probably holding up that entire group. Definitely get Ingram on the Vargulf. Oh, there he is. The Slayers will be doing a good job in here. Okay, I want everyone who can. Oh god. I would have him one Manfred, but maybe that's not the best idea. Oh, hang on. What am I doing? That Vargulf is... Oh no, they're breaking through. God damn. Oh, this is so tight. We need to move left, lads. We need to move left. Where's Manfred? I can't believe how many have broken through. Fire on these, please. This is such chaos. Try and plug this gap, lads. Right, fire on Manfred. Fire on Manfred, fire on Manfred. Let's get Ungram over here. Oh, look, and now their infantry are arriving. We need to plug that gap. Things like this, that stops the whole unit firing, you know what I mean? That's really bad. If we can take Manfred out, that would be huge. That would be absolutely huge for us. Everyone fire on Manfred, please. Should have a clear shot onto him. He's mounted. You should be able to shoot over Thingway's head. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shoot, 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 shoot. It's a big deal. Killing him, and then we'll kill the Vargulf. Manfred's kicking his ass. Uh, Ungram's kicking his ass, sorry. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, now the Vargulf. Where is he? Let's keep him alive. His aura is worth more than him being in combat. Okay, this is good. This is looking good. How's the left flank holding up? We need to finish off the horses. Because they're going to get our guys engaged in combat. Especially on this right flank. Get in here, get in here. Oh god, this is so tight. Our poor men. Right, send, send one of these. You guys are going melee mode. Get in here. We're sacrificing one to protect the others. Let's move them here. Let's get you guys back here. Um, let's send these guys in melee as well. Fire on the Grave Guard with great weapons. Fire on the Grave Guard with great weapons. Oh no! This is so tight! Come on guys, keep fighting. One of the problems, the disadvantages of what I've done with the corner camping is that if my guys run, they're not gonna rally. They're gone, you know? They are gone from this world. Because they'll run away instantly. Right, pull out, pull out, pull out. We need your leadership bonus. Come on, Ungram. Keep smashing these guys up. There we go, he's still alive, still alive. These guys rallied though. Get back here, please. Right, everyone fire on this. You stay there, you stay there. Should be just because they'll have a clearer shot here, more than anything. I don't know why I did that. That was silly. They'll have a clearer shot of fight firing on these guys because it's just Ungram in there. Come on, get rid of them. In you go. In you go. Good job. Bring him out. Get out of there. Fire! 
Please don't die. Please don't die. Stay there. Zangonaz. These guys have more ammo. I'd really rather commit these guys. Fire on them. Fire on them. Ungrim, why are you not in combat, dude? Get in here. Yes, yes, they're breaking. Yes, they're breaking. Come on. Yes. Yes. The Doughty rule supreme. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy crap, Peric indeed. Doesn't matter. We win. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. What a battle. <laughs> You'd think we'd lost more, wouldn't you? But I guess I guess we lost our entire melee. Poor slayers are gone. Fighting to the last as they always do. Oh my god. What a battle. I, th I think I should have had my uh, my infantry should have been better organized there. Too many of their units broke through the lines and that cost us dearly. But they w my infantry wouldn't last as long if I didn't make them in those pillars. So it's kind of like a catch-22 situation where I deal with them breaking through or my infantry die so much quicker than that. So that was good. Let's take the money. Let's take the money. We got rid of Manfred. So that's two armies down. Look at that. We killed Manfred and we killed his body. <laughs> so, I mean, now is the time to press our advantage, really. But at the same time, I have no troops left to do it with. I only have small amounts of infantry left. What a battle that was. That was awesome. <laughs> I can't believe we won it. Nice. Public order. Awesome. The slayer in me seeks death. Let's get Axe Lord even more. We really need our melee to start surviving. Strike the runes. Definitely melee defense first. No doubt about it because we need him to live. We got some replenishment there. Part of me is thinking I should press my advantage now. Uh, the axe of Dargo demands blood. Uh. To die in battle. He'll be reinforced by Eshin though, which has a 14-man garrison. Bugger. Okay, we can't we can't press Such our advantage then. Oh. No, if I take Waldenhof, I won't get the cash to replenish when I need either. It's not it's not worth it. Okay, we're gonna jump into Carrot Cadron. We have to. And then I'm gonna get uh one warrior yes, and two slayers. Technology, let's go for Dwarven diplomats, never a bad thing. I want to get the, the um, a relationship up with all these people, definitely. For tri oh, that's not going to benefit me now, though. Let's go for this instead. Any stuff that's going to benefit me right now. Not later. Oh, do we have... Uh, we don't have grudge throwers. It would be a good idea to at least get one. Okay, growth three... Three turns until we can upgrade this, and then I'll definitely build a building for a grudge thrower, I think. Okay. Well, that was an amazing battle. I'm still, I'm still like, hyper from that battle. <laughs> it was so close. The threat is real. I think that's Tempelhof that's taken S in as well. So we've got two vampire enemies right next to us. Not good. 
Although they're not actually at war with us, but they... Uh, Oh, look at the, the human factions. They're all going to war with each other. Empire and Talbackland, Hostland and Ostermark, and Nordland and Ostermark. That's not good. We don't want the human factions warring amongst themselves, because, you know, we want them to do well so that we can ally with them. <clears throat> I am the Slayer King. Okay, let's bunch these guys up. I must fulfill my Slayer Oath. And then if I do three more, one, two, three, with this. and now we have loads of infantry. So one more turn, and then we're going to move forward again. And this time I might take Walden off. If they leave it unprotected this turn again, I'm going to take it, occupy it, and then make them attack me to try and take it back, hopefully. I'm thinking if I take it this turn, if they don't move to, or even if they do move, I hope they move one unit into it, that would be good. Did they just, no, they moved away. There we go, there's someone. We can take someone out here. But yeah, we'll move to take Walden off. We'll hold on to it and then see what they do in retaliation. It's one of the bad things about Slayers as well, I was just thinking about that last battle again. Because they fight to the death, you're very prone to losing them. Because, <laughs> you know, a lot of my units will survive those kind of battles because they'll run away. Oh, wow, chaos is stirring already? Goodness me. Um, yeah, growth would be good. The recruitment cost would have been good as well, but a bit late, but better late than never. Minus six up here, but one turn until the population surplus. I think we'll upgrade this first so I can get the extra gold mine. All right, we're going to go for... We can't reach him because he's across the river, so we're going to go to, for Walden off. Let's take it. Should be a very easy battle. Ah, he is reinforcing it. Okay, cool. That's great for us. That's really good. Let's fight it manually. I don't know how he's reinforcing it from all the way over there, but he is, so let's do it. And that gets rid of him as well. <coughs> Oh, the reinforcements are coming here. Oh, that's a ba that's a bad day to be a, a vampire. <laughs> it's a bad day to be a vampire. And Grim and the Runesmith will lead that charge. Do five, six. There we go. Have our our cavalry on the flanks. It's about as close to cavalry as you get with the dwarves. Forward! That's good. Ooh, those knights are actually getting all the way out there. Take him down. Lord first. Then the Vargulf. Take that Vargulf out. <laughs> That's such a bad place for the reinforcements to appear. Right, take out the knights. You guys take out these grave guards. You guys move back. Shooting them in the back. Perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. You guys pull out of there. We'll take them care of them for you as well. These poor slayers, man. They're such glass cannons. They do well against cavalry, but... Not well enough, it seems. Awesome. All before... They can even get their other army to us. Let's take our time. Oh, there they go. 
Let's say let's take our time and get ready for it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> And we're going to hold it this time. We are going to hold. Decisive victory, indeed. So sadly, because he was only reinforcing, I don't think... Oh, he is gone. No, he is gone. Good. That's excellent then. Oh, wow, they're in a really bad position. Look at this army, though. That's a decent army. Ash in here. Oh, I guess. Okay. Well, I'll uh, decide what we're doing next time, because that is the end of this episode. So I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please like and subscribe, as always. Uh, I'm Demix, and this has been Dragon Ball TV. I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>